The background image from the Tailwind design panel is now available as a value for the background image control in the Properties panel. Let's take a closer look at the details. Before, if a background image was selected in the design panel, we only had the option to use the image for colors without displaying it on the page. Or if this option is unchecked, the image would automatically display on the element matching the selector. The default value for the selector is body. But in many cases like here we used a class like poster or similar to specify where the background image should be displayed. Now we have another option. First, we can disable the automatic display by checking the option to only use the image for colors. However, the downside of this option is that we cannot select different image sizes for different media devices like small and large. Another way to avoid automatic display is to use value none as the selector. Now the image isn't displayed. While this still lets us select the small image version and the large image version. Just a note, if we're using unsplash images like in this case, then the small and large image versions are generated automatically. To use the background image, go to the properties panel, down to the background section where we have the background image control. Usually we have gradient values listed here, but now we also have two values, design image and design image large. Let's set design image, which is the smaller version of the image. And in this case, we also want to set no repeat and size to cover. On larger device sizes, we can use design image large, so we use a higher resolution image on large and up media sizes. This makes it very convenient to use the image on multiple elements. Let's go down to the mailing list element and use the design panel image as the background here as well. Next, switch to Large Size and select Design Image Large. And as before, we have to manually set Background Repeat to No Repeat and Background Size to Cover. This new option makes working with Design Panel Background Images easier. Hope you find it helpful.